Well, hi, Tandra. This is a neat presentation, and all of your RGB values match where they need to. Excellent job with assignment two. I urge you to be like bezeled and uh, utilize uh, different color sets to come up with here in designs for future. Now, with assignment three, things look pretty good. However, on my screen, which is color calibrated, um, the left swatch in the left set appears to be too light um, and I understand that there's some disparity from screen to screen also I recommend that everybody look at these in the design software because the colors will look uh, more true than they would in say preview hi Julie again this is a neat presentation and all of your RGB values match with the need to I can see where you're going with assignment two and I think that, um, let's say, the top right set looks like a good solution. Um, they're all okay, but that's the stronger one. Now, with your assignment three, let's take a look at the right set. Okay, so on left, um, the red is lighter. So to make it darker, you put it on light ground, and that is correct. It might be that you'd get an even better match if the ground, that yellowish color, was lighter still. Now let's look at the left set. Okay, so the lighter swatch is on the left side again, but the darker background is behind it, and that's giving the reverse effect of what you actually do want. Hi, Lucretia. This is a neat presentation with your assignment, too. At bottom right, you're getting the best results. Now why is that? I'd say it's because your backdrops are different in hue and value. Um, and, and notice, for instance, on top how the backdrops are similar. You've got two greens and then two reddish colors, and the effect is far more mild, if even perceptible there. Now, let's take a look at your assignment three. Um, you know I'm having a hard time getting a color match with the left swatch and the one below it in the left set. Do you see those two colors don't match? Also, the template's falling apart here. You can see that the shapes aren't crisp and neat. And the solution for that is to just take your best color set and use a fresh copy of the template. Now, looking at the right set, I can see that your RGB values for those reds are different. But looking at this here in Photoshop, it's hard to see the difference with my eyes. And I'd say that you'd set up a better challenge for yourself if the swatch colors were less similar. Hi, Tuna. All of your RGB values match where they need to, and this is a neat presentation. Your um, assignment too looks great. I especially like that bottom right set. The blue on the right is just looking electric. With assignment three, this is a strong solution. You have moved very different colors a lot closer to one another given the backdrops they're on. Um, with the left set, I'm wondering if you took the left background uh, and made it even lighter if you'd have then a stronger solution still. And is it possible that you could give the impression of adding red on the left side of the right set? So that might mean, let's see, your backdrop would be more of a cyan or green color. Well, hi, Christina. All of your colors match where they need to, and this is a neat presentation. With the top left set, I think you've got the best result. Let's look at the top right set. Now, the backdrops are varied in value, but the colors are both very saturated. And I think that that's lessening the effect here. And let's look to the bottom right set. Now in this case, the backdrop hues are similar even though the saturation is varied a great deal. So I would urge you to alter two of those three factors, hue, saturation, and value between the two halves and see if you can get more of an effect going in that manner. Hi, Starlet. Your colors all match where they need to. Um, in assignment two, I like your bottom left set and top right ones, especially. Um, 
in assignment three, you have some nice color sets and you've really been able to move the swatches so that they look a lot more alike. And uh, they weren't very similar to begin with. The one little thing that I see here on my screen is in the right set, the left swatch could be made to look just a little bit darker. So that means lightening its backdrop. Now, looking at that set, and also the bottom right one in assignment two, I'm seeing signs of the template falling apart. And the best thing to do when that happens is to take your um, colors and then apply them to a new copy of the template so you'll have a nice presentation. Hi, Jamie. All of your colors match where they need to. And you've got some really astounding color combinations here. Um, I like this top left set and the top right one as well. I think the bottom left one's working uh, okay too. Maybe the subtlest is the bottom right. Do you think that um, the problem here might be that the backdrops are similar in value and maybe even saturation and all the colors are um, analogous, you know? As I was saying at the beginning of this recording, um, I'd encourage all of you to use your best color sets with designs um, uh, with your own original compositions for future because um, what you've got going here could work in a lovely way in the context of uh, an original design. Hi Cassidy, all your colors match where they need to and this is a neat presentation with your assignment too, especially like the top right and the bottom left sets. Um, you know, with the top left, I was speaking about um, this combination of backdrops to someone else just a minute ago. Um, while the backdrops vary in value because they're both saturated, I think the effect is lessened. Well, looking at assignment three, um, you have chosen different swatch colors, which sets up a big challenge. Um, and, and it takes a lot of work to get this right and also need to try different theories. So I played with colors with your left set. I think I can see what you're trying to do. First of all, uh, it, it, you want to use color subtraction there on the left, right? You're trying to subtract the yellow. And on the right, you're trying to add yellow by using the blue backdrop. However, the values you've got going there aren't helping things, right? Because the left swatch wind, winds up looking uh, far too dark. So what I tried instead was to um, add magenta to the left set by using its complement, which is green. And on the right, I tried to add yellow by using yellow's complement, blue. And I used tints of both of those and it seems to work out pretty good. Um, once again, in your right side set, um, value is a matter to manage. Hi, Amy. You know um, things look neat here and your colors match where they need to. I think that your color sets for assignment two are rather astounding and I hope you may implement them in designs in future. Now, with um, assignment three, good job on the left set, you know, with colors that look Quite different from the start. On the right set, I'm wondering if the value for the left swatch looks a little on the light side. Well, hi, Nat. Um, great work here. Uh, your presentation is neat and your colors match where they need to. Um, in assignment two, you've got some great color sets and I hope you'll look at using those in designs in future. With assignment three, I'm thinking that maybe the left backdrop on the left set could be darker so as to make the swatch look lighter. And I think you've done a rather amazing job with getting the colors to look like they match on the right side. 